peacefully gliding across the river of the Milky Way is one of the most elegant constellations, Cygnus the Swan. Cygnus has made quite a name for itself among astronomers. The first object strongly suspected to be a black hole is a powerful X-ray source called Cygnus X1, which lies in the sky next to the swan's neck. Also, most of the area scanned by the exoplanet hunting satellite Kepler is in the direction of Cygnus. As a result, we know of more exoplanets in Cygnus than in any other constellation. The brightest star of Cygnus is its tail, the star Deneb. Although Deneb only appears to us as a modestly bright star, the 19th brightest in the night sky, its true power is masked by its great distance. It's actually so far away that its distance and therefore its true luminosity are hard to measure, but it may put out as much as 200,000 times more light than the sun, making it one of the most intrinsically luminous stars visible to the naked eye. There are many swans in the classical Greek mythology that Cygnus is said to represent. In one story, Zeus took the form of the swan to seduce Leda, the queen of Sparta. Castor and Pollux, the twins represented by the constellation Gemini, and Helen of Troy, over whom the Trojan War was fought, were children of this union. Another story of the swan recalls the tale of Phaethon. Phaethon was a child of the god of the sun, Helios. Many of Phaethon's friends wouldn't believe that he was a son of a god. So Phaethon sought out his father and asked for proof of his lineage. Helios confirmed that Phaethon was indeed his son, and promised Phaethon any boon to prove it. Phaethon responded that he wanted to drive the chariot of the sun across the sky for one day. Helios knew that this would lead to catastrophe, and begged Phaethon to choose anything else. But Phaethon was adamant, and Helios had given his word. When Phaethon started driving the chariot of the sun, the horses that pulled the chariot knew immediately that it was not their master driving them. Phaethon lost control. The horses ran amuck, bringing the sun too close to the earth, scorching the ground and causing great destruction. Zeus had no choice but to strike Phaethon down with lightning. The horses returned to their master Helios, and Phaethon's body fell into a river. Phaethon's closest friend, Cygnus, was determined to give Phaethon a proper burial. He spent days swimming in the river to retrieve the pieces of Phaethon's body. As he dove repeatedly into the water, he resembled a swan. So the gods, moved by Cygnus's devotion, turned him into a swan and placed him in the sky. <laughs>